Believe it or not, guys, this question actually came up in a foundation paper. Have a look and see if you can do it. The question says, work out the value of four to the power of negative six times by four to the power of nine all over four. Guys, what are we going to do? Here, we're going to have to use our laws of indices to simplify all of our four to the powers. We're gonna start off by simplifying our numerator. We're gonna do four to the power of negative six times by four to the power of negative nine. Guys, when we have a base to a power and we times it by the same base to another power, what do we do? We add those powers. So to get our new number on the numerator, we're gonna do negative six plus nine. So we're gonna have four to the power of negative six plus nine, that is going to be three. So we have four to the power of three over four. Now, how are we gonna simplify this? Well, four, we can actually write as four to the power of one. Why? Because any number to the power of one is just itself. Now this makes things a little bit clearer because now we can see that we have a base to a power divide by the same base to another power. We can actually rewrite this if we want to as four to the power of three divided by four to the power of one. What do we do when we have a base to a power and we divide it by the same base to another power? We subtract those powers. So we're gonna do three subtract one, that is gonna give us two, and we're gonna have four squared as our answer. We can simplify this four squared, that's four times four, which is 16, giving us our answer. Guys, this is my first video back in a long time. If you've watched until this point, please, please, please let me know in the comments if there's any particular topics you would like me to cover. I've covered the entire course already, so I'm gonna be going through exam questions mainly. Let me know which topics you'd like me to go through in the comments.